Unborn. This is a PG-13 movie that I got through Netflix that I saw unrated. The unrated version actually was done fairly well. Your main female lead kind of has a a Megan Fox s quality if she actually if Megan Fox actually could act. So she's a babysitter, and one night while babysitting a relative newborn and a four-year-old, the four-year-old's doing some weird thing over the baby that smacks her in the head with the mirror that he's using to show the kid's reflection. Seems really kind of bizarre. A lot of this movie is the weird, random, bizarre sort of you know crack open an egg to have breakfast and there's like a termite on the inside. You know, go to the bathroom and all of a sudden it's like the walls are exploding in bugs. So she believes she's being haunted in some way, shape, or form. And then it goes through all the bizarre twists and turns that deal with twins, demons, spirits, possession, Nazis. <laughs> yeah, this film has got a lot going on at ch clocking in at about 87 minutes. You know, there's a lot going on with this movie. And it all makes sense. You've got Gary Oldman, I want to say... Oh, he was the he was the gatekeeper in Thor. He was one of the male male. He was the main male lead in Pacific Rim. You can picture him. I want to say it's like his name's Ebris, something like that. But he does a really great job. You got Gary Oldman as a rabbi. You've got him as another member of the clergy. So you know they have a great moment of dialogue when it's those guys discussing with the the woman who believes she's under some sort of demonic attack and her boyfriend. The end sequence is done very well. The surprise at the end is very heavily foreshadowed, but this is, of course, a David S. Goyer screenplay. So there are certain to tones that he hits, certain notes that he hits, but again, I saw the unrated version. If the dialogue stays the same in the PG-13 PG version, this might actually be a decent PG-13 horror film.